Buck is at the spot this evening. You waiting for me? You waiting for me? You ready? Okay. Here you go. He was already ready and waiting for dinner. <laughs> you were waiting, my big boy. His velvets are slowly growing. I feel like I see like not, like it's not a thumb size, but it's probably like one of my pinky nail size. But they're starting to grow his velvets. The hairs are starting to grow on the sides from his velvet that are supposed to be popping up soon. My mother-in-law is watching the baby because she's comes, she usually she comes home from 2 p.m. from work. So she told me, she was like, go, go, go do what we gotta do with him. I told her I'll be back inside in 10 minutes. Right, Buck? And then when daddy in the morning, tomorrow morning I'll be able to hang out with you longer because daddy will be home. You're so cute, Buck. You're hungry, boy. Oh, you dropped that apple. I gotta get it. Where'd it go? One on my side. Let's push all this stuff to the front. Okay. I'm not taking it away. <laughs> it's like you moved my hand. Like, hey, move. I'm not taking that away from you. Wow, you ate your apples quick, boy. He ate them so quick, I can't believe it. You're that hungry? And you had a breakfast this morning. I think Buck gets more excited for dinner because he has the butter and the squash. Then I always throw some grapes in his bowl. Like right now, he has some grapes. I hear the dogs barking. Here, Buck. You look all the crumbs. Good boy. Good boy. You look all the crumbs. You ready for your butternut squash? Yeah. Oh, my big boy. Mommy loves you so much. I love you so much. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go dump the butternut squash in your bucket. Hold on. Okay. And it has seeds underneath, so he's going to be excited. My mother-in-law was like, you don't give him the butternut squash, like, whole with the whole peel? I said, no, I cut the peel off. <laughs> I said, he won't eat it if it's with the peel. My mother-in-law is like, you definitely spoiled him. I said, yep, I did. I said, he's a spoiled deer now. I said, he wants his things a certain way, his foods. I said, he's definitely spoiled. Right, Buck? You're definitely spoiled? The house next door, like that house over there, they're doing like the lawn mower. I hear it. I don't see them, but I hear it. They're definitely in, on their property. That's why Buck is looking over there, too. It's okay, big boy. Eat your food. It won't bother you. This is eating his dinner. Drinking your water. Good boy. He's so cute. I always make sure he has fresh water. This water is nice and fresh. Cause once his water gets dirty, I go empty that bucket out and put a new bucket. My husband's like, really, babe? My husband's like, when it rains, he probably drinks the puddles off the dirt. I was like, I don't care. I said, with me, I want his food bowls and the water bucket to always be clean. Fresh water in it at all times. And to have, like, you know, a nice, clean bucket of corn. Look, is spoiled. I know. I tell everybody all the time, he's a spoiled boy. And he likes things a certain way. Like he likes his apple sliced. He likes his butternut squash in pieces sliced with the peel out. Guys, if it's getting loud, like I said, it's that house right there. They're out doing their lawnmower. So that's why it's pretty loud. It's pretty loud. You're okay, Buck. It's okay. And my neighbors that live in that house over there they know that Buck comes here to eat all the time. A lot of my neighbors know that Buck stays here by us. They're probably like, lucky them. They have the deer that comes to them all the time. Right, Buck? We're lucky to have you come all the time. Oh, and I just actually sit down and get back up. It doesn't take me forever to get back up. Right? 
You look good, Buck. You look good, my big boy. It got a little warmer out from this morning, to be honest with you. It's not as cold as it was this morning. And now he's gonna go forage on that tree. Oh, I can't wait till it gets nice out. So then, you know, we could like clean this up, this area, plant the seeds and water it. I can't wait for that. Soon, maybe in another two weeks. We'll see how the weather is. I told my husband, probably by the second week of April, we could start cleaning up in here, like this whole trail and putting the seeds and the water. Babe, you got an itchy ear? I don't see no ticks on you. So he just finished eating his dinner. His hair's so shiny. He's so shiny, but he's shedding. Like he has hair that's shedding. You see like all that loose hair? It's shedding. He's shedding, but he's doing good. I told you don't shed your winter coat too quick, but it's still gonna be cold out. Now he's eating his corn. But he's doing good. I tell my husband probably like once or twice out of the week I'll make my husband feed him breakfast just so Buck doesn't lose the touch of like you know getting used to my husband so just in case if one day I don't feel good or I have to deal with the baby let's say during his feed at one of his feedings at least my husband could run out and feed him you know because Buck does come when my husband calls him he just he'll stand over there by that tree like he'll stand there and just like wait for my husband to dump the food and then he waits for my husband to walk away from the spot and then he comes up to the spot to eat but like i told my husband i said i think buck is a one person trust it's like he only trusts one person and that's it and that's me right buck that's my big boy you're done good boy right, he had a good dinner and he drank a good amount of water which i'm happy because i always like to see him drink so i know like you know he's dehydrated with water right I might leave because of the noise from next door. I love you, big boy. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Yeah, the noise is probably bothering him from next door for him to be leaving so quick. Definitely. Okay, see, he keeps looking over there. Buck is probably like, I don't like this. I don't like this noise. It looks like he wants to leave, but he's like debating, like, what should I do? Now he's backing up. Let's see if he's coming back. He's backing up. You're leaving, big boy. You're leaving, mommy. Oh, I guess he changed his mind. He's coming back. You're coming back. You're coming back. Don't bite my ring. You always have a habit of biting my wedding band. Don't do that. I guess I'm, not that that diamond's going to fall off because it's a good ring, but you can't bite my wedding ring. You can't. slobber. I wash my hands the minute I get inside. I wash my hands, my upper arm, like my arms, my lower arms. But I want to take all his kisses. I want to take all your kisses. No, don't bite the ring. I gotta stop wearing my wedding band when I come outside to be with you. Cause he always bites it. He bites like I feel his teeth that trying to grab my wedding band. I can't wear my wedding band anymore. No, no biting. <laughs> You're giving me rough kisses. Oh, you might smell pick up the baby scent. Cause I was wearing this robe inside my house. You picking up the baby scent? Are you picking up the baby scent? My big boy. Okay. And I'm gonna go have some more of his corn.
pretty soon, guys. I have to go back in because I told my mother-in-law I was going to be outside for only 10 minutes. If my husband was home, it would have been different. I could have stood out here for 15, like 20 minutes. But my mother-in-law, I feel bad. I don't want to leave her too long with the baby just in case he wakes up screaming or something. So, guys, I will be back tomorrow morning. And with a long, probably a longer video, too, because my husband will be home till noon. So, I'll wake up early, come out here and feed him so I can spend more time with him. Well, he ate probably gonna leave soon anyway i'll see you tomorrow big boy i love you yeah he's probably gonna leave soon all right everyone i hope everyone has a great evening and a good night and me and big boy buck will be back tomorrow morning with another video it's nice and sunny outside like it's actually it feels nice you know it's not cold like it was this morning maybe because i'm both i'm bundled up i have a thick sweater on plus my robe and i got my a hat on so i'm pretty bundled <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't feel the cold. I don't know. But it's not freezing like it was. So we will be back tomorrow. Oh, I gotta get up. All right, everyone. Me and this big boy will be back soon tomorrow for the breakfast video. I hope everyone has a great day, the evening, the rest of the day. God bless, and we will be back. Ciao for now.